Hey, what's up everyone? Shane here with ROA Off-Road. Today is a Thursday campfire rant. Uh, we do one of these every single Thursday. So if you enjoy it, uh, you can go to our playlist and check out the other campfire rants that I've done in the past. Some of them are about why you shouldn't live in an RV. You can go check those out or the truth about most RV dealerships. There's been lots of topics covered every first Thursday of the month, we're starting to do a live community campfire rant where I'll go live for about an hour and let people tune in, ask questions, make comments or whatever. So today's campfire rant is going to be about why it doesn't really matter what RV or camper you buy. Now let me explain that for a second. It does to a degree, it does for sure for you, but a lot of people always ask, what's the best RV on the market? The reality is there's not a good answer to that. The correct question you should be asking is what's the best RV for me? That's a pretty good question, right? You can narrow it down and it really depends on what you're trying to accomplish. Do you want to camp in the winter or are you going to be more of that weekend or spring through fall type of camper? Do you want to travel full time? Do you want to live in an RV? Which remember that video I mentioned how you should be really aware of a lot of things before you try to live in one. At the end of the day, something that I really like to remind people is the camper or the trailer or the RV or whatever you're looking at, remember that it is a tool. And it's not as much about which one you buy, it's more important that you're using <laughs> the actual RV. You need to use it. It is a tool to get you to places like this, right? Or maybe not. Maybe you wanna go down to the beach in Florida and the Keys, and you don't need a rugged off-road camper to do that. I mean, you could. The cool thing about a rugged off-road camper is the quality overall is gonna be better because it's made for the off-road, which means it's gonna hold up longer on-road, but it's not so much about choosing a brand. A lot of people get really fixated on a brand, which, Obviously, if the reason why you're choosing a brand is because that brand is known for quality and longevity and great support, then yes, it's important to look at brands in that sense. But I just, people get so fixated on a certain camper sometimes when I'm like, listen, the most important thing to remember is it's not the camper. It's what you do with the camper. It's are you going to be actually using the camper? And if you're not using it, well, you shouldn't buy one, right? I have so many people that do all their research, they find the perfect camper, they buy it, and then it just sits in their driveway and they never use it. And it's just like, why did you even buy it? I suppose, you know, some people do that with cars. They like to collect cars and half of the time they sit in the garage. And if that's what you wanna do, if you wanna collect RVs, I wouldn't recommend collecting RVs like cars. You know, some RVs might go up in value, some older Airstreams and stuff like that. But for the most part, yeah, you shouldn't be collecting RVs. An RV needs to be utilized as a tool. If you're gonna go out and buy a wrench or a hammer, Hopefully you're gonna actually use the wrench or the hammer, but hopefully there's a reason for you buying that tool and it doesn't just sit in your garage and never use it. Like buy for a reason and follow through. If you have a dream to travel and go to visit the national parks, buying the RV is the first step. Go out and actually use it. One of our roamers, which is somebody that buys a camper from us, he told me this about a year or so ago. He said, one of the things that I love about ROA is that you guys actually do things to get people to go out and use their campers. And I've thought a lot about that. There are some good manufacturers out there that have communities and groups that you can get together, and that's really cool. And when you're looking at a brand or a camper, if the companies have those types of communities, those are the ones that I would buy. If the manufacturer is just very, very transactional and it's more just buy our product and leave us alone, those are the ones that I would be a little bit leery of buying from. And most dealerships are not. Like ROA, we don't really consider ourselves a dealership. We kind of act more like a manufacturer. And in a lot of ways, we have some trailers that are even branded after our name. So we definitely offer that experience. No matter the camper you buy from us, you become part of the community and you get to go out and use it. But it's just really, really, really important to remember. Don't go out and buy a camper if you're not gonna use it, if it's just gonna sit. It's such a silly thing to do. And I would strongly recommend against it. And if you're uncertain, 
about whether you're going to use a camper because we do have a lot of people call us up and say hey i really want to buy one but I i'm not sure if i'm going to use it it's well then don't go out and buy one go and rent one there are companies out there that rent campers yeah you might not be able to rent the pause but you can go out and rent something and you can use it and if you like it then you should go buy one. We have a couple that just barely bought Explore from us and they had gone out and rented campers before. And so they were like, yeah, and, you know, we didn't know if we were gonna like it, we rented it out, we loved it. And so now they're buying something. They were actually rented a couple to find out the ones they liked and the ones they didn't. They didn't actually rent an Explore because there's none for rent, but they were rented enough units, two different units to realize, hey, we want a comfy space to sleep. We want a bigger shower. And, and so they kind of narrowed it down and went out and bought one. So that's a huge recommendation that I would have for people is before you pull the trigger and go out and buy a camper, go out and rent one and utilize it. See if you're gonna use it. If you love it, then go out and buy one. Home Depot, they rent tools too, right? So you don't need to necessarily buy them. But if you find yourself renting it frequently, then it's time to go out and buy one and actually utilize it. Anyway, there you have it. That was my campfire rant. I just wanted to get that out there to people. Remember, the RV is a tool to get you to go out and enjoy nature and be with those that you love. Don't get so fixated on the brand or the actual RV itself. Try to focus and remember the reason why you're buying it is to go out and explore and have fun. So thank you so much for watching. And like I mentioned earlier, we got a bunch of these campfire rants. Go check out some of those. We also do some crazy adventures. We just got done with getting out of a snow recovery issue because we're always out using our campers and we want you to go out and use them, inspire you to go out and use them. If you want to see some cool behind the scenes, go check out our uh, Instagram and TikTok stuff. We got Romer underscore USA or our way off road and have a wonderful day. We'll hopefully see you on an adventure soon.